Hello everyone, welcome back to Factorio, where today we are moving on from the smelters, which I have updated the design for, uh, just because the initial idea I had uh, became quickly obsolete when I realized, hey, we could just uh, research better power distribution, which we have done. So we are now moving on from wooden power poles to these more sturdy uh, medium electric power poles and we also have big electric power poles which are really good at uh, carrying electricity across a large distance. For example, we're going to plop one down here. Oh, actually. No. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to plop one down here and then we're going to take the other end. As you can see, I've already got one set up or two set up here to carry electricity from our power generator all the way over to the rest of our base. Um, and we're going to just plop this one up. Uh oh. Oh no, it doesn't reach. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. We'll just grab, we'll just grab one of these, which I have in my hotbar. I could have just done that, and we'll just put that there. That solves that problem. <laughs> okay, excellent. Um, I have a lot of stone in my inventory. Why do I have stone in my inventory? Why don't I have stone in my inventory? Excellent. Yeah, so. With our next base, what we'll do is we will be, uh, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be setting up a much larger, well not larger, but I have, I have these here and I did start making them, putting them all together. And I did start thinking about how we were going to lay out things like our bus. Uh, the bus being, well the main bus being what we put all of our, uh, all the belts with all the resources on. Uh, and that will carry it to the different components of our factory. Now, the biggest challenge with uh, this game, which we are going to tackle today, is expanding the factory into biter territory. Now, the 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 biters the uh, bugs did have a base over here and i was like hey i am not actually okay with you having stuff so close to my base so i killed them i i went in and i killed them all uh with a couple of turrets and some ammo and that's all it really took now i don't know if i have um Biter expansion turned on in this game So that's gonna make it really interesting when we get uh, As we kind of carry on and try to continue expanding further and further outwards But we have done the research that we have done uh, between uh, Episodes is we've got uh, electric energy distribution one we have now got optics, which gives us our lamps. We have our basic turrets, which give us, uh, we've got turrets, which gives us gun turrets. At some point we will be moving on to laser turrets, but that requires just a whole bunch of setup that we don't have yet. Uh, chief among them being like military science and blue science. It's one of those batteries, we'll need batteries. But we've also got walls. And I think the next one that we'll get is probably gates once we've freed up some of our research space. We've also got military two, which has given us uh, grenades. And I think we also have military one research between episodes. Uh, we currently don't have any bonuses. We're not gonna look at production. We don't have any trains. We still haven't done anything with this oil, although as you can see, we do have oil processing queued up 
to uh, at some point we'll start playing around with that but first really we're gonna need to um, fix our a lot of our production to be honest and I think a big part of that will be and I'll probably start setting it up again between the episodes uh, we will start setting up like the main bus and everything now that we've got some stuff going I'm just going to quickly set up that okay, we're gonna grab some more of those maybe Now I know I did say that we were going to go clear out a biter base, but I do just need to quickly uh, sort this stuff out because this will help between episodes with laying out our factory. And what we'll be doing is we'll be putting uh, paths of stone between everything. Pretty much everything will have a path. As you can see, we've also got like a whole bunch of coal just kind of sitting there, which is always nice. It's good to have coal just sitting there, not really doing anything. Uh, unlike some games that I play, having resources floating isn't a terrible thing. Um, in fact, if you have like a build up of resources down here and you have like all of your production is kind of going it's typically a good thing uh it means that you've got like an overabundance of resources coming in which is not like bad as you can see here we've got iron uh stacking up we've got uh iron ore is stacking up iron plate copper plates looking a bit sad copper plates only looking sad though because uh, we ran out of copper just prior to me starting recording of this, uh, starting the recording for this episode. It wasn't, it wasn't like the end of the world, but it was definitely uh, something that I should have kept on top of. But it does look like it's getting back up to speed. Part of me was like, ooh, maybe I can just like loop it up here and can do some built stuff there. Uh, similar to what we've got going here I've also updated our iron production just so that we have slightly more of it although it probably could be doing a lot better oh hey what are you waiting on coal neat look at that uh, to be honest, I think we've got enough grenades. So what we're going to do is we're going to go find some biters and we're going to start lobbing some stuff at them. Although, so as you can see, we've got we do have an iron and a copper patch over here. We've also got a second iron patch over here, which ho I'm hoping that these two patches here will keep us going until we need. Uh, to unlock trains which we could theoretically do where are my engines yeah we could do trains reasonably soon in fact we could get a lot of trains set up reasonably quickly but to start with what am I going to do well I'm gonna grab all of this iron plate because I like iron plate. Nom 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 nom. It's not enough anymore. I'm gonna just grab all of it. Right, how much iron plate do you need? Only 20. Oh, we're missing two. Perfect. <laughs> right. So we're going to just wait for those turrets to uh, do 
do their thing. And while we wait, we are going to just come here and we're going to have some fun time. Laying out the rest of our belts. Now, technically speaking, what we could do at uh, a reasonably uh, soonish stage is we could start upgrading all of our furnaces so that they are producing resources much faster. And I think at the moment we're pretty close to the mid game anyway so it might be something that I do look into doing again it will be another one of those uh, we'll do it in between episodes uh, or we might not we'll see what happens hmm. should probably set up another turret there that let's do that and what we'll do while we're over here yes yes all right it's all slowly starting to come together again uh we're putting you and you in here oh actually you can go here but we can put you in here and we're gonna grab two of you And you may have noticed, I have got these uh, random chests kind of haphazardly slapped around the place. Um, I've got one here for steel production, because this is the only place that we're producing steel at the moment. Because uh, it's the only place that we need steel particularly badly. Uh, where else have I got a chest? I've got a chest down here for iron. Uh, just so that I can just, like, if I have any iron in my inventory, I can just slap it in here. Solves the problem pretty quickly. Right. There we have an extra gun turret. We are going to take it over here. In fact, I want to grab one of these radar. You remember how, like, five minutes or so ago when I said I was gonna go no not even five minutes ago at the start of the episode like ten minutes ago when I said that I was gonna go attack the uh, biters yeah that's not happening at the moment because these bastards keep attacking all right we're gonna go chest we're gonna go and we have another thing finished Boop. all right now we've got ammo being produced Oof. all right Pitch, yes we have some things happening got a biter base down there and just look at that pollution cloud it's over here nothing much all right um Yes, we are going to move on now. If I can just remember the buttons that I need to be pressing to do stuff. Um. I need two wood. Can I have two wood? I can have two wood. And we can have some ammo in here. Whoosh. Alright, so we are now going to go clear out that biter base. Uh, 
Um, this episode is going to be a lot quicker just because um, like I am recording it the night before I'm going to be uploading it and I came home from work and was like hey I haven't actually done anything uh, when it comes to recording the next episode. Crap. Ow, 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 ow. Made a mistake, made a mistake, made a mistake. <sighs> Thankfully that did not end up killing me, but... Right. Hmm. Tasty. Uh oh. You need ammo too. And you need healing. Alright. Now, we have... Grenade! Uh oh. Grenades aren't doing as much damage as I thought they would. Die! Oh hey! Uh oh. Ow. Okay, I hurt myself there. Excellent. Uh, so that took us most of our munition supplies, but that's fine. Who needs munitions? Just gonna heal up a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna move on. Are we gonna move on? Or are we gonna say no thank you and we're gonna piss off back this way? Um yes, so that was a biter base destroyed. Um Oh, how big is this one? Uh I'm just going to explore around this way a little bit. This is probably uh This is what the the what we would call in the professional world. Uh, oh, no, that's a bad time. That is what we call a bad time. <laughs> Ow. Fuck you. Fuck you. And, most importantly, fuck you. I should probably upgrade from the pistol. Uh, just because I can. Ooh. I could get a shotgun. Ah, uh, the submachine gun would be so much better. Uh, did they cause any damage? They did not. That's what I care about. Okay, what are we looking at over here? 4 million. 2.3 million. Uh, Alright, well, I can see all of that patch, so we are going to label it as... 2.3 million. Look at that. We got a couple of uh, million patches. Uh, those patches should probably do us for like the rest of the game. I want to say, unless I do like absurdly stupid shit. Um, and to be fair, the these like if the last series was anything to go by, this is not going to be a particularly efficient game. Uh, none of these games are going to be particularly efficient. But I think that's about the best that we're going to do. Um, maybe we could... How close is the steel? Alright, uh, alright, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab one of you, and we're going to go like that, filter out only steel, Boom, 
bump, bump. like everything except iron is starting to back up which is a good thing to a good thing to say oh i'm in the way right we're gonna get some oh i need some copper in here as well Ooh. Ah, problem solved. Um, actually. Steel. Thank you. completely forgot the uh, copper element of that particular there we go and actually So I'm just going to finish setting this all up. Mostly as you can see because it pisses the biters off. Not a particularly good strategy to have, but it's the strategy I'm going with. So the problem that I'm facing at the moment is I've got like an iron plate deficiency and that's mostly because I'm trying to run all of this off of six um, iron smelters which is not the greatest way to be going about this. Um, should probably we go like so Hold on. Oh, shit. That could have ended in a disaster of uh, significant proportions. Uh, right, we're gonna go like 
so in the end. So, so, so. Rats. Um, then in actuality I think we'll just let these ones bleed out. Which might not be my smartest plan, but whatever. I don't particularly mind if it's not smart. <laughs> it just has to work. Um. Ah. Now that's a little bit of an issue. They are probably not shooting fast enough. upgrade the projectile damage anyway and actually now that I think about it upgrade you as well because I can <laughs> right uh, you you Okay. Right. How are we going to do this? Not like that, that's for sure. Cool. Alright. That's that. I need power poles as well. Of course I need power poles. Why wouldn't I need power poles? Alright. Almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We will be producing... Oh, okay, hold on. Everything of our own accord... Okay, um, this is fine, just go like that, and then we want, Excellent. That's how we do it. Maybe not that way, but... Ooh. Oh yeah. No, oh, not that one. We want nades. Aha! Excellent. That's the kind of production we want. Wait. you're gonna put these here turrets I don't see any turrets 
Oof. Excuse me. Alright. So we've got a little bit more coal. Let's see if we can uh, just uh, boost this coal up just a little bit more. Wait, how did they get into the middle? Wait. Get up. Well, shoot. Where did they come from? Probably up north. Okay. Definitely looks like I'm going to need to put a focus on uh, ammo production at some point. And maybe what we'll do in... Uh, maybe the next episode actually. Is we will... Because I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, what we'll do in the next episode is we will definitely start looking into how we can expand our factory much more so i will be i'll be fleshing out the uh in between episodes i will finish the furnaces i will set up the steel and i will also look at uh i will strip out this little micro base thing here and we will also see hopefully the beginnings of a base uh, taking shape. Uh, the base will obviously change as our needs change, uh, but that's just the nature of how this game runs. Uh, as you can see, I've got like a whole bunch of stone just kind of being stockpiled as I try to strip this little patch here out, which we've got. Jeez, quite a bit of stone still sitting there. Um, that's right. They will all get stripped out at some point. But, hopefully, with our little uh, increase in our iron ore produ production, uh, that we have kind of helping along a little bit by putting in just a little bit more and more and more uh, iron production. Fat. How much more do you reckon we could? Ooh. <laughs> All right. And then what? No. Get out of the middle of it. See, this is why we need freaking walls all over the place. Stop! Out of it. Bugs. Honestly. They just, they like getting in the middle of everything. Honestly. That's right. At some point we will freaking put up enough defenses that they won't be able to get through um, but between now and then I hope you're all enjoying this as much as I am because uh, I am enjoying it a lot despite all of the sounds that may be to the con uh, to the contrary 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 uh, all of the sounds that might say that I'm not enjoying this uh, I am enjoying it. It is nice to be able to play Factorio and not worry about nearly as much as I normally do. Uh, although, to be fair, actually, I think I'm worrying a tad bit more. Um, but I'm taking it a lot more slowly. Uh, usually, like when I was playing with my uncle, we would kind of rush quite a lot, which isn't terrible it just some things have more merit than others um but yeah it looks like at the moment 
Right, this will be it. Yeah. Alright, well. I hope you're all having fun. I hope you're all enjoying this. And until next time, keep being awesome everyone. And I'll see you around. Later.